It took me six years of being stuck before I started creating consistently. A lot of people don't know that. I started my business in 2009 and I didn't start creating consistently until 2015. And there were multiple reasons why I was so stuck. One of the reasons that got me so stuck for so long was that I believed that I needed to have the right sequence of ideas before I could start putting myself out there publicly. I don't know if any of you have felt that stuckness. It's like, well, I've got so many ideas and I know I'm still learning. So I, I, I have to, I have to wait until I, I get the right ideas gathered and then sequenced so that when I put myself out there, I can say thing number one first and then say thing number two and then say thing number three. Anyone can relate? I don't know. Maybe nobody can relate here, but I was stuck in that way for a long time. And sometimes I still, it still am. I notice myself go, Oh, wait. Oh, I'm going to, I'm hesitating with creating because you know, maybe, maybe I got to work out my ideas. One, two, three, four, five first. Well, here's an example of, of that in, in action is that I ended up writing four business books, four and my fourth business book, which is principles of authentic business. When I wrote that, I'm like, Oh my gosh, that, that book should I come first? Okay. That book should I come first? But oh well, I needed to have created for years until I was ready to write the principles of authentic business. So even though ideally it should have come first, I wasn't ready until that point. So basically what I learned and what I keep learning is create now and then sequence later. So again, create first sequence later, because you're going to learn so much from other people, from your own life experience in the coming months and years, that's going to call your framework into question. It's going to call your philosophy into question. If you really are learning <laughs> because reality is way bigger than you imagine and way more uh, mysterious and profound and um, surprising than you can currently understand. And so as you learn, if you're not revising your ideas again and again and again, well, I, I'm not sure if you're really learning. Um, so I, when I finally accepted that fact of learning and of knowledge, then I started creating consistently. And in the first year of creating 2015, I made, I, I committed to myself, I'm going to make a hundred videos. And I'm not going to stop until I do. And I'm going to make one every day. I took the weekends off. So it was five days a week. I make one almost every day and five days a week. And then um, I knew I had to work out my ideas as I shared them because I know I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. Knowledge will forever be being gathered. Knowledge will forever be just truth, so-called, will just forever be just out of our grasp because there's always more and there's always deeper. Okay, there's always more comprehensive and there's always more nuance and there's always more surprising, you know, oh, this destroys our foundational understanding of XYZ. I mean, even physics, obviously, and, and psychology, any topic you pick is being revised dramatically every generation, right? So I just started creating in 2015 and I got very few likes back then because, and I'm glad I got very few likes back then, by the way. Because gosh, <laughs> if I look back at the ideas I was putting out there back then, I'm so glad I, I wasn't uh, as well consumed as I am now. I mean, not as many people are watching me back then as, as now. So I'm, I'm glad because now I think I'm sharing more of the truth with you. And I'm sure 10 years from now, I'll look back and go, well, I'm so glad my audience was relatively small back then because now I have truly more of the truth, right? But it's always like that. Create what you believe now, because what you believe right now might be crucial for someone else's development at the current stage that you understand. Because sometimes, you know how you need to have lived something before you can really appreciate something else, right? Even though this thing, 
that that you later learned you felt was more true, more um, correct, more more right than what you previously lived and and behaved. But you you couldn't have appreciated this greater truth without this earlier stage. Well, that's true for every stage. That's true for every stage. I need to live my current truth now before I'm ready for some deeper truth. So please live and share your current understanding now. Do not wait until you've got the right sequence of ideas. Any idea, by the way, should stand on its own. That's another profound thing that I learned over creating over almost 2,000 videos I've uploaded to YouTube by this point, but, but well over 2,000 uploaded elsewhere and hundreds of blog posts. And I'm like, okay, every idea should be consumable on its own. Now, the audience member might not be able to understand 100% of what I'm saying, but they can understand enough to appreciate some gem or some nuance that was helpful for them. That's all they need to move on with their day. And they, if they're interested, they'll go out and look at other things. But people go and look at your social media profile. They look at the first post. Now, you might have pinned certain things at the top, but if you pin certain things and they're really old, that also looks awkward. So allow every idea you put out there to be standalone, to be understood more or less on its own. Don't make people go, well, you got to do this first and you got to learn that first before you can understand what I'm about to say. It just... It's hard to build an audience that way. So create now, create first, and then sequence it later. Go, okay, I've created all these things now. Let me put that into some order, maybe into an online course, maybe into a book, okay? Maybe into further uh, sequence of ideas, whatever. But create today. Your understanding of reality, your truth today is worthy to be shared because it really might help someone at their stage and it helps you when you speak it, when you write it, when you create it, you get more clarity. Clarity comes from creation most of the time, not the other way around. I hope this is helpful. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. Uh, we're all getting more and more clear about our ideas and about our philosophy as we go along. So thank you and wish you a wonderful day.